Hello there, my name is Veena Prashant. I'm the co-founder of DigitalAccessPass.com. Welcome to DAP. In this video, I want to give you a quick tour of DAP and want to show you some of the key features that we have in DAP just to help you get familiar with it. I'll show you how you can create and sell different types of products in DAP. Free products, paid products, online courses, trainings, payment plans, subscriptions, paid trial, free trial. You can do it all using DAP. I'll show you how you can create different types of products in DAP. I'll also show you how you can create different membership pages, login page, content page, profile page, invoice page, affiliate page. And if you're new to DAP, be sure to watch this video from start to finish. It will help you get started with DAP and save you time for sure. And also, if you're new to DAP, we offer free installation service. So if you're not sure how to install DAP or need help, just open a support ticket. We'll be happy to install it for you. Now, if you're a DAP Elite member or a DAP Platinum member, you also get some one-on-one -on -one time with us that we can use to help you with your DAP setup. So just open a support ticket and let us know that you want to schedule a call with us and we'll be happy to help you with your DAP and membership website setup. I also have a Facebook group for DAP users, for plugin users. Uh, so if you have any questions, any generic questions about DAP, about membership sites, you're welcome to ask your question there. But if you have any support related issues, just open a support ticket and our team is really good with support. We'll be happy to help you out. All right, so now let me give you a quick tour of DAP. So after you install DAP and the LiveLinks plugin through the Easy Installer, go to the Plugins page and uh, activate the LiveLinks plugin. After you activate LiveLinks, you will find DAP in the left sidebar of your WordPress dashboard. So click on DAP, it will bring you to the DAP Reports page. First enter your license key, your DAP license key on this page. After you enter your license key, it will open up the DAP dashboard. You will find all kinds of reports here. DAP has the most comprehensive reporting feature. So pretty much all membership stats you'll find on this page. Everything in DAP is a product. You can go to the DAP products page to add a new product. You can see there are two example products here by default. And you can click on create new product to add a new product. And if you already have an existing product, you can click on the edit button here uh, to edit the settings. So let's go ahead and click on create new product. It will bring up a pop-up like this. You can give your product a name, free or paid. If it's a free product, you can set this to free and access duration. If you want to give users that sign up for your free product, full access, unlimited access to your product, you can set this to forever. Otherwise, you can set this to fixed and enter the total number of days of access. And if it's a paid product, you can enter the billing and access details here in this tab. All right, so product type. If this is an online course, set this to yes. And is this a group membership? Now, DAP supports group memberships as well. So if this is a group membership, set this to yes and enter the total number of sub accounts group owners can create. Otherwise, if it's just a standard account, leave it as no, save and next. Now in this tab, if it's a paid product, you can uh, specify your billing and access details. So one time or subscription. If it's a one time product, select one time, enter the product price. Access duration is how many days of access they get when they purchase your one-off product. And subscription, no trial, free trial or paid trial, you can select any of this. So if it's free trial, you can enter your trial duration. If it's a paid trial, you can enter trial amount and trial duration. For example, if it's $1 for seven days, you can enter that here. And if there is no trial, set this to no. Subscription settings, what's going to be the subscription price? If you want to charge, for example, $30, every month then use this setting or you can select a different billing cycle here there's also a custom option you can enter the billing cycle in days and total number of payments unlimited or if it's limited time for example payment plans then you can enter the total number of payments for example if it's 12 payments of 30 dollars then you can enter 12 here but if it's unlimited until cancellation you can use this setting save and next and that's it. The basic setup is complete now. So click on continue with the product setup to set up content protection, set up welcome email and all that. It will bring you to a page like this. And here you can complete the rest of the product setup. And some of the information, we entered this in the pop-up. So you can see it already has the name description. Is this an online course? Yes. Here you can select course structure if it's modules and lessons or just lessons and course progress if you want to allow users to access the next lesson only after they complete the previous lesson. You can select this, this is the default. Otherwise you can select this option. DAP comes with one of the most advanced learning management system. You don't have to use an external 
learning management platform. When you use DAP, you can do it all. You can manage your students. You can create all types of courses. And I have a course called Let's Build an Online Course. Uh, be sure to sign up for it if you have not already signed up. It will show you step by step how you can build an email list of qualified prospects and then how you can create your course and how you can deliver it using DAP. Basically everything that you need to know to create a profitable online course. You will find all of that information uh, in this course. So be sure to sign up if you have not done so already. All right, so moving on. In the billing and access tab, all of this information we entered in the pop-up. So I'm just going to skip this because we just talked about all of this. But if you want to update something, you can always update it here. In the notifications tab, you can configure a welcome email. And this email will go out to your users when they sign up or purchase your product. You can use the welcome email to send users their login credentials. You can use any of these personalization tags in your email. So what happens is when users sign up or purchase your product, DAP will automatically generate a password for them. And you can send them their login credentials in the email. And everything that you see in this email, it's fully customizable. You can change the content to say whatever you want it to say. Now, if you want to receive an email when someone signs up to your paid product or your free product, you can enter your email ID here and DAP will send an email when someone signs up to your product or service. Now, if you want to connect DAP to a third-party email platform such as Aweber, ActiveCampaign, Drip, ConvertKit, DAP connects with several external email platforms. If you want to get DAP to add users to your list in your email platform, you can do that using the automation engine. And you don't have to do this when you're setting up your product. You can always go to the automation engine from DAP products, manage automation page, and you can set up your rules there for each one of your products. You can set up different rules for different products, but you can always do that later. So moving on to the content responder tab. Here is where you tell DAP what content belongs to the product. There are two things that happens here. One is you assign the content to the product and it becomes part of the product. So only users that have access to the product can access that content. But anyone else that tries to access it, they will be sent to an error page that says, sorry, we noticed that you don't have access to it. Please click here to sign up. Here, you can just drag and drop the content and make it part of a product, all right? So say that this is part of the product, you can just drag it, drop it here, and it becomes part of the product. So there are two things that you can do here. You can assign uh, content to the product. You can also uh, apply different drip setting. By default, the content that's here will be available. When users sign up, it will be instantly available to them. But if you want to change the drip setting and schedule it, then you can change it, click on the edit icon right here, and change the drip setting. You can use day-based dripping. If it's a magazine model, for example, you can set a specific date and the content will only be available uh, in that date range. Now the WordPress content, you can just drag and drop it, right? And it will become available. Uh, it'll become part of the product. And uh, if it's a PDF file, for example, you can enter the URL right here of your PDF file and click on add URL and it'll become part of the product. If it's a video or an audio file, and you want to make it part of the product, what you should do is uh, embed that on a WordPress page. Don't directly upload uh, video or audio files here, but embed it on a WordPress page and then enter the URL of your WordPress page where you have that uh, content, all right, and protect it like that. Moving on to autoresponder tab, you can set up your follow-up emails. So you can create your emails in the DAP email autoresponder page, and it'll show up here. You can click on add, uh, to add your autoresponder emails if you want to send them a follow-up email. So if you use your own email platform and want to send the follow-up emails from your email platform, then don't set it up here because what you set up here will only be sent through DAP. It will not be sent through your email platform. If you want to send it through your email platform, then just directly uh, set up your emails, your follow-up emails in your platform and don't set it up here because what you set up here will only be sent through DAP. So in the advanced tab, the most important thing is the redirect post login URL. So here you need to set the URL of your product specific landing page. And if you don't have one, send them to the global landing page where you want all of your users to go when they log in. So you can send them to the member home page and I'll show you how to create a member home page using DAP member pages. Or if you have a product specific landing page, for example, if you have an online course and you want to send them to the first lesson when they log in, or you want to send them to a table of content page 
when they log in, then enter the URL of your table of content or your introduction page for the course here. All right, so moving on to the last tab, that's it. The setup is all done, product is ready to go. And if it's a free product, you will see that DAP will give you registration code. And uh, you have two options here. You can use the HTML code if you have your own lead generation tool and you just want to enter the HTML code from DAP uh, so it can connect to the product in DAP, then you can click on this and it will give you the code and you can enter this um, in the HTML section of your form builder. But uh, if you want to use DAP to create a nice looking registration form, you can do that too. This is what we recommend. So go to the form builder, click on form builder. It will take you to um, the DAP form builder tab. And you can build all kinds of registration forms there. You can add custom fields and it will give you a short code at the end. And you can publish that on your opt-in page, on your squeeze page. And that's it. But if it's a paid product, then the next step is to create payment buttons. And there are a few ways you can do the payment buttons. So one of the ways is um, using Smart Pay Cart. Now Smart Pay Cart is our shopping cart plugin for WordPress. Now let me give you a quick tour of SPC. So the first thing you need to do in SPC is go to the settings page, go to the payment settings. And here you can enter your payment processor credentials. If you want to use PayPal, enter PayPal credentials here. And if you also want to use Stripe or Authorize.net for credit card payments on your site, then you can enter that here as well. So after you set up your payment processor credentials, next step is to go to the checkout page and set up an order form. Now this is the SPC checkout page. You can create one checkout page and use it for all of your products, or you can create different checkout pages for different products. It's completely up to you. Let me edit this checkout and show you how I have set this up. So when you create a new checkout, the first thing you need to do is give your checkout page a name and click on create to create a checkout, or you can select an existing page and make it your checkout. In the payment options tab, you can select the method of payment. So if you want to allow users to pay using PayPal, pay using credit card, you can select the right options here. In the one or two step checkout, you can select the type of checkout. SPC is one of the few shopping cart plugins that also allows payment using credits, points. You can use our game of points plugin to set up a reward system and award points to users for different activities. And then you can create a checkout page using SPC so users can purchase your products using points. If they don't have enough points, they can pay partly using points and the remaining using their credit card or PayPal. So you have a ton of options here. You can even create a donation button, pay what you want button. All right. So here say that you select one step checkout. There are several templates here. You can pick from any one of these. So this is the template customizer. You can fully customize the template. You can display product header. So it's going to show up towards the top of your checkout. If you have an order bump offer, it's going to show up here but you can also rearrange the position. Everything is drag and drop. You can place it anywhere you want. And you can even create a different look for your mobile users. Everything here is click and edit. You can change the text to say whatever you want it to say. SPC is one of the most customizable shopping cart plugins for WordPress. So after you create and save your checkout, then the next step is to create payment buttons. And again, checkout page is something you just have to create once. You don't have to create different checkout for different products. And so once you have a checkout page, then go to the payment button, buy now button page, and just set up your payment buttons there. And the cool thing is SPC is a plugin for DAP. What that means is you don't have to create your products in SPC. It can pick up all the product details from DAP. All you have to do is go to the SPC buy button page and select the product for which you want to create a payment button and follow the steps there uh, to create a payment button for your product. After you create your payment button, SPC will give you a payment link. You can just connect this to the buy button that you have on your sales page and that's it. When users click on the buy button, they will land on the checkout page. They can complete the purchase. SPC will create an account for them in DAP. SPC will give them access to the product in DAP. SPC will also automatically log them into their membership. So after their purchase, if you want to send them to the member homepage or if you want to directly send them, for example, to your table of content page of your course, you can do that because they will be logged in and they can get started with your content, with your products right away. They don't have to wait for a welcome email to get started. You can also create different types of payment buttons in SPC, add to cart, donation button. If you want to create a Netflix style paper post model, you can do that too. And you can also create a storefront where you can let SPC know what are the products you want to display in your store. SPC will give you a short code, publish it on your WordPress page, and you will have an instant storefront. 
You can use SPC to create and sell all types of products, one-off payment plans, subscriptions, free trial, paid trial. And there are several ways you can increase your average order value using SPC. You can offer order bumps. You can even offer multiple order bumps on the same checkout. You can add an upsell funnel. SPC also comes with an advanced visual funnel builder. So you can do all of that in SPC. But if you want to use your own shopping cart platform, that's fine too. DAP integrates with several uh, shopping cart platforms. You can use your own shopping cart platform, uh, create the payment buttons, integrate it with DAP. Now different platforms integrate differently. We have documentation for that, uh, but just integrate it with DAP. Then when the users purchase the product, they will be added to the product in DAP and then they can log in and access the product. All right, so that's how you sell your paid products. Now, the other thing you have to do is member pages. This is something you just have to do once. All right, so you can click on DAP member pages under DAP in your WordPress uh, dashboard. And when you click on DAP member pages, it will bring you to a page like this. DAP comes with a full-fledged member page builder. It's really easy to set up member pages. Just click on create new member pages. And you can see here, login page, content, profile, affiliate page, invoice, cancellation, group management. I'm not going to go over the details of each one of these pages, but pretty straightforward. Just click and edit, click on the button, follow the steps to create the page. And once you have created the page, you're all set. You don't have to keep doing this multiple times. It's just one time. Pretty much everything that you see here is fully customizable in the back end. When users log in, then let me show you the user experience. So when users log in, they get sent to the My Content page. Now, again, I have created this uh, My Content area using a DAP. And let me show you how you can create a similar My Content shortcode for your website. All right, so this is the DAP member pages. And here I'm going to select Content Page. And you can give your content page any name you want. Click to create. And you can select any one of these templates right here that you see. You can use the default option for everything else. You can always update it later. If you want to hide certain products from the content page, you can do that. And if you want to display only the products they have, uh, you can. But if you want to display everything, even the ones they don't have, but have them grayed out, so you can sort of upsell them, the products they don't have, you can do that too. You can select this option. But just start with default options and you can always update it. There are several templates. Now the template that I showed you that I'm using, let me show you what I'm using. That's this template, display multiple products per row. And uh, I'm using this template where I am redirecting users when they click on the access content button for each product box. So you see here, when they click on the access content, each one links to a product specific landing page. I like this style. So you can use a similar setup, uh, but it's completely up to you based on your requirement. So if you want to show them the content under each product right here in a pop-up, you can do that too. So there are several templates, pick the one that works best for you. So if you select this, for example, and you select this one, uh, where you redirect them to a product specific landing page, you can fully customize the look and feel of each product box here. If you want to set up where when they click on access content, you want to send them to a product specific page. Like for example, this is a course. When they click on access content, they get sent to a page where they can see all the content that belongs to the course. If you want to use a similar setup, set the redirect for your product in DAP. This is in the DAP products page under the advanced tab. Set the redirect to uh, the product specific landing page. Now this is the one to which it will link to. The access button that you see here on the My Content page, it links to whatever you have set here under the redirect. So be sure to set it up correctly and users will be sent to this page uh, when they click on access content in the member content area. Even though DAP is the most comprehensive, the most powerful and flexible membership plugin for WordPress, creating a membership site with DAP is actually really simple. Whether you have simple requirements or complex requirements, you can do it all using DAP. You can use it to do exactly what you need it to do. I hope this was helpful. We have a great support team. We care about your success. We are here to help you. If you get stuck at any point, feel free to reach out to us, contact us through our support ticket system. I also have a Facebook group. You're welcome to join. Please introduce yourself. Let us know where you are at your journey. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. My name is Veena Prashant. I'm the co-founder of DigitalAccessPass.com. Welcome to DAP. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.